Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Pastor Anthony, and well, we are in Woodland, Washington at Lazy Days RV. Uh, well, we're waiting on them to come out and check the unit in. Um, it's been been here over an hour, and now they're on lunch, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, first time I've ever been here. Maybe the last time I come out, I don't know. Uh, it's just one of them things. Uh, need to get my reset started, and I'm just burning time. So uh, get me moving back for next week. Uh, see what else is on the low board and what we can get a hold of. So uh, that's where we are right now. Stay tuned, and we will keep you along um, for as we go through this reset. And we're going to dive into God's Word and do some uh, some Bible study this weekend. And I'll be posting another video soon. So just kind of wanted to give you an update where we are. But uh, I'll be glad to get this Van Lee off of here. Uh, it's been a great pulling trailer, but fuel mileage has been horrible. It's definitely cost me a lot more than what I anticipated uh, to get it up here. So uh, we'll just have to look at that later on. So but just stay tuned and subscribe to the channel and like it and share it. And hopefully you are blessed uh, and uh, your friends and uh, others. We can share God's word and share Jesus and life one mile at a time. Talk to you soon. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Pastor Anthony and well, we are doing our reset. We are in Staffordville, Oregon. And as you've seen that beautiful sunrise, it's just gorgeous here. It's like 51 degrees. Uh, didn't have to idle viper all night last night. Didn't get it cleaned up. It looks a lot better. Uh, so today, we're going to just kind of chill out a little bit. Why are we going to have to do some laundry? It's been a while since I've been home. Got to go uh, run some errands here after a while. But um, the question uh, that I think that God has placed on my heart is how do we fight our battles you know with everything that's going on in our world how do we fight our battles and so that's where we're going to go with this uh we're going to dive into god's word in a portion out of the old testament uh tomorrow so um or maybe even later today i might decide to do it then i'm uh, going to find some some areas to maybe do some hiking a little bit of walking try to get some exercise in and uh, but i feel this is something that that we need to discuss and and we as uh, followers of Christ and, and maybe those who don't know Christ yet, um, you know, that are, are suffering and are just in chaos and don't know where, where else to turn. Well, God's the answer. And so that's what we're going to look at in this video. And so just stay tuned and hang out and we will catch you on later today. Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Pastor Anthony, and well, we're going to walk this Oxbow Trail. We are in Stanfield, Oregon, and finally interesting, just down here, just down over here, there's actually a group of people. I may try to get to talk to them just a little bit, but uh, there are actually signs, and uh, they're holding American flags and things to uh, protesting the state uh the mask mandates again uh, the governor is actually wanting people to wear them while they're outside like we are right now which is completely ridiculous uh you know i'm not wearing a mask uh now i don't wear them inside of a place um you know people may disagree with that but you know the more i read and the more i understand that these little flimsy paper masks don't do anything so uh I think I have my own strong opinions about the whole COVID, you know, where we are, you know, uh, and that kind of stuff. Uh, the vaccinations, you know, if you want to get the vaccination, if you want to wear a mask, that's great. Do that. You know, that's fine. But don't, you know, be little people and put them down and, and demand they do this and demand they do that. And it's just a bunch of nonsense. Uh, you know, so this is America where we're supposed to be free. And, you know, and everybody's like, all oh, the science. Well, you know, Dr. Fauci and the CDC has flip flop more times than you flip an egg. And, uh, you know, and there's just as many doctors to to refute what they're saying. So, I mean, you know, what do you, I mean, you know, what it is, you know, what do you really know? So I, myself, choose, choose to distrust, you know, God and, you know, and, if I would get COVID, then, you know, God's allowed it. 
and it is what it is um you know i do things i'm smart and you know, i wash my hands and you know and that kind of stuff and make sure i don't uh do something stupid but at the same time you know uh i'm not gonna live my life in fear and and always wondering and i just i'm not going to do it it's not going to live that way i'm going to trust god and just keep moving forward but anyway enough of that rant so we we'll definitely be brave for these people uh in their state uh we need to pray for our whole country uh no leadership in our country right now i mean it's a mess you know and i have some very strong opinions about that but uh my thing is that i really wanted to chit chat kind of talk to you all about was really just you know fighting battles fighting our battles you know things that we have to deal with in our life you know uh got a phone call yesterday of a good friend that i've known for probably 30 years even worked with him uh when he owned a pest control business learned that he had passed away and you know so now that family's dealing with that loss that battle in their life of having to try to move on and uh do something different now than they've had to do in the past having to learn to relive and you know i just think about you know our american uh soldiers that's being under attack they're fighting a battle and you know and then i think i just there's so much going on that that we have to deal with and we're battling and, and facing and uh you know it's just how do we deal with that how, how do we move forward and stay positive because you know a lot of what's going on just hurts my head and uh you know i got a lot of opinions you know the way i what I, things i see what i believe you know i always look back to scripture on those types of that trying to get answers and one of the things that uh, God showed me in his word was back in Exodus uh, chapter 17, if you get there and read it, was a time that when uh, Moses was leading Israel out of Egypt and uh, they'd been out for a little while and this one uh, Amalekites come against them and their intentions was they were going to destroy Israel and and have you know if you know anything about the bible at all anybody that comes against israel will not stand those are god's people and he will protect them uh just like he will protect his children us and as long as we follow him and are obedient we will always come out victorious no matter what and so just remember that but during this particular time uh of this battle uh, moses told him that he was going to go up on the top of this hill and he was going to hold his staff and hold his arms up and as long as he did that israelites joshua they were overtaking the amicites and well moses began to get tired and whenever his arms would start to drop down well they would begin to lose the battle the israelites were beginning to be overtaken and ever then he would raise his arms up and they would begin to fight and so uh and win and and so he seen this and so we had aaron his brother and another guy named her and uh they were there with him and they seen that he was growing tired and weary and so they took a stone uh probably something similar to something like maybe one of these you're seeing right here and they set it underneath him so he could sit down and then they stood on either side of him and held his arms up and so this is how we fight our battles is was we keep our arms raised in praise to god and we keep trusting him we keep moving forward with him and we stay in fellowship with the body of believers so that we can overtake the enemy so the enemy cannot advance against us that's the only way that we can fight our battles is praising god staying in fellowship crying out to him for help and for, with to give us the strength to be able to continue to move on and do the things that he has called us to do but it all begins with us being obedient and this is one of the things i see i think is one of the reasons why we're having as much trouble as we are is because um one the church is being silent they're allowing sin to be celebrated and to be able to be to run the show and we need to speak out 
We need to be preaching the gospel. We need to be in fellowship. That means in church. And, you know, however that looks for you, you know, it, we need to be in a fellowship with the body of believers. You know, but I understand, you know, some people can't get out every weekend. You know, but what are you doing during those times that you can't be in a physical building? You know, with me being out here in RV transport, uh, I'm not in a building every Sunday, but I am worshiping, I'm reading my Bible, and I'm praying, and I'm, I watch church services, and I stay in contact with fellow believers. You know, we've got to do that, and being out here, because I do talk to people, and I get to know them, and, uh, and so I find a lot of people who are fellow believers as well. And uh, gives me an opportunity to share the gospel with others. And so I look for these opportunities. But the only way that we're going to overcome the evil that's in our world is by trusting God. Asking Him to use us in a way that we can make a difference. And the way that we make a difference is um, sharing the gospel. Reading God's word. Praying. Being in fellowship. You know, and Paul talks about in Romans 1, he has an obligation to share the gospel. Why? Well, because Jesus died for us. I mean, he paid the ultimate sacrifice on the cross for you and I. And because of what Christ did for us, we should be obligated to share the gospel with him. We should be obligated to uh, let others know what Jesus did for them, how much he loves them, how much he wants to have a relationship with him. You know, we should be burdened with that. You know, I know I am. You know, as jacked up and crazy as our world is, and I'm ready for Christ to come back. I am. I, You know, for rapture, I, you know, you think about that. I really love for the rapture to happen and just take the church out of here. But then again, at the same time, I start thinking, but I know that one person who doesn't know Jesus. I know that one person who's battling with stuff but has no hope. You know, we all know people like that. And what are we doing about it? To address it, to fix it. But that's how we fight our battles. Is through Christ. Jesus says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You know, Jesus tells us all we have to do is be still and he will go and fight for us. He will give us what we need to overcome the battles in our lives. Whether it be addictions, uh, health issues, loss, jobs, COVID, <laughs> whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Christ is in control. He will help us overcome. We just have to trust him. Keep our arms up in praise. You know, Joyce Meyer, uh, one of the things she used to say, uh, I've listened to her and she's talked about, he said, anytime that she ha you have your hands lifted in praise to God, you're slapping a silly, uh, demon silly. And so I always think about that. And, you know, some people probably think I'm crazy because I'll be driving down the road, listening to praise and worship, or whatever, or listening to a, a good message. And, you know, and I'll throw my hands up and just, you know, thank you, Jesus, or praise God. And, you know, and then I think about that and just smack the demon silly. And so... Uh, we just got to try to stay positive. We got to try to stay focused on Christ and do the things that he's called us to do and be obedient. That's how we overcome battles. That's how we, we fight, is fight through the Lord. Because we fight from victory. We do not fight uh, at a loss. We don't fight, you know, and uh, maybe we might win. We it's, it's a guarantee because of what Christ did for us on the cross. If we have him in our heart, then we know that, that we are victorious through him. And so we just got to remember that and stay focused and continue to move forward for him. So I'm going to end this here. Uh, I might come back and with it a little bit and talk a little bit more about it later. But right now I'm going to... Uh, continue walking this oxbow trail kind of uh, get me off the beaten path here just a little bit just kind of looking around and seeing what I can see it's very beautiful out here as you can tell and so but um I'll get back with us in just a little while we'll take some pictures and we will pray um, maybe we might be tomorrow I don't know yet we'll see how it goes 
Um, I'm going to be picking up that trailer in Pendleton, which is like 25 minutes from where I am. And then we're going to down, to, down by Salt Lake City, Utah, and deliver down there on Monday morning. And then we'll see where we're going to go from there. So y'all stay tuned. Just think about what I said. And I will see you, well, for you, just be a couple of seconds for me. It'll be uh, whenever I get back on. So uh, I will talk to you all soon. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Pastor Anthony, and we are back on the road. We are in Pendleton, Oregon. And first time I've been to this yard, and we're picking up this Coleman unit and taking it down to, it's just a little bit south of uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, but it's working us back east so uh, we're going to finish pre-trip in our unit and put the hammer down and get down there uh, probably uh, late early this evening just about time for dinner and we'll be there till tomorrow morning and then we'll probably be heading from there back to indiana uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly and because i got to stop at the port of entry in idaho and get a permit they told me the other day that i could get it at the port of entry so hopefully that works out otherwise we'll be sitting there until in the morning uh, so but that's where we're going to leave it for now and i guess i will see you when we get uh, stopped this evening talk to you soon Well, would you look at that? Yes, we are having tire issues. If you've watched, see my Instagram, if you follow me there, you will see that, well, we are in Snowville, um, Utah. And, well, we I pulled in, got fuel, and I went in, used the restroom, and come back out, and I happened to see that bulge on the side of the tire, and I went, oh, no. So I knew I was going to have to swap it. So I come over here, found me a parking spot, and got parked, got all my stuff out, started jacking the truck up, getting the tire loose, and I got down underneath the truck and I happened to look at the other side. Well, the driver's side's the same way. So I've got two tires that is bald. So I guess the, that last unit we took to Woodland, Washington, tried to kill the, the uh, tires on my truck. And so that's where we are. We are here for the night. This is our view, beautiful. But you know, it just kind of takes me back to you know, God's hand of protection on on His followers, or His believers, of His children, of the ones He loves. You know, because this could have been really bad. Those tires could have blown, and I could have been stuck on the side of the interstate and trying to find help to get the problem resolved. And being a Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, uh, and I have not been successful at finding someone who does mobile tire services for pickup trucks with the tires that I have. And besides, on the weekend, it would really be expensive. So God allowed me the safety to get here where I am. And so uh, could this be one of those attacks that we were talking about? It very well could be because, you know, it's slowing me down. I'm an hour and 45 minutes from delivery, uh, which is going to slow me down now getting it delivered and making it home uh, when I wanted to get home. So we'll just have to make some adjustments and go with it. But this is one of those things where I was talking about the enemy when he comes to attack us. And, you know, we just got to stay faithful, keep moving forward and trusting God and knowing that no matter what comes against us, no matter what problems we have to face in life and deal with, we just know that God is in control. He's got this. I listened to a message from a pastor this morning um, who is really beginning to face some persecution. And he preached out of... Uh, Matthew 14 and it was talking um, about uh, Jesus had sent the disciples on ahead of him and they were got in the boat and they were going out and another furious squall come up and they were fearful and they were and they were scared and they didn't know what to do they didn't know what to turn from they didn't they just didn't know what to do and then in the in the midst of this night through all this big storm and very low visibility because you know, they didn't have street lights back in it was very dark out of the shadows comes Jesus walking on the water and it's just a beautiful picture of knowing that no matter what 
is going on in our lives. No matter what we're facing, no matter what we have to deal with, we just know that in our darkest towers, in the darkest moments of our lives, Jesus is going to walk out of the shadows and take us by the hand. You know, this is that depiction of when Peter gets out of the boat and he walks on water and he takes his eyes off the Lord and he begins to sink and Jesus has to pick him up out of the water. And so that's why it's so important for us to stay in contact with, with Christ through prayer and through Bible reading and through fellowship and, and all of these things so that when we are in these storms that we know that we can reach up and Jesus is going to lift us up out of the water, out of that storm, out of that whatever it is that you're going through and get us to the other side and know that we're going to be okay. And so that's where I want to leave this with. And, you know, I, I guess that's why I didn't have the ending yesterday whenever we were taking our walk around Oxbow Park or, or Saturday evening, whenever it was. Um, but so that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go ahead and pray. Uh, and, you know, and I ask you, know, you all to pray for me as I uh, have to travel 30 minutes down the road that the driver's side tire, it holds up and the, with no issues. You know, we're going to go, I'm talking like super grandma slow when we go but we're just going to trust god to get us there safely so um, let's pray together and i'm going to end this video and get it uploaded and again if any of you all do not know christ and you, you know you can't have the hope and the peace that we have that has christ and so if you don't know him and would like to be, begin a relationship with him it starts with true repentance asking christ to come into your life and forgive you of your sin and truly repent and begin to change and ask him to change you from the inside out and to pick you up and just to dust you off and to move you forward and if you would like to know more about that please comment below get in contact with me uh, if you get on instagram it's at, at pastor lucas 7 uh, and follow me there uh, there's always ways for you to reach out to me and i'll help you the best way i can if you have any problems prayer you need prayer uh, you'd like to hear me teach or talk about a specific subject leave that in the comment section as well and so let's pray and i will get this uploaded father god lord we just thank you so much for your safety and your love and your grace and your mercy and father we just thank you for continuing to move us forward lord and and all the jacked up stuff that we're going through and dealing with in this world and everything that we're seeing and everything that's happening we know that you are in control so father we just ask you to continue to move us forward teach us give us peace let us just continue to hang on to you hang on to your word so that we can move through these process we call life and Father, keep us safe tomorrow. Keep Viper safe tomorrow. Keep that tire rolling as we make it to a tire shop to get it fixed. So, Father, we just trust you. Thank you. Love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys and gals, we shall see you, well, soon. So, we'll talk to you later.